Hello guys, this is Damaduck82, and we are back for some more From the Depths in current version, Ashes of the Empire. Uh, before we get back into the campaign, there's just a few things I want to mention here. Um, I am going to be releasing all the crap that I used in this campaign. Uh, I'm probably going to have some kind of fortress where all the vehicles are going to be docked to it. And uh, that way I can just upload them all at once, because uploading them one at a time is a huge pain in the ass. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Uh, also, I want to see if I can't try to wrap it up in this episode. I figure I might have maybe one or two episodes left of this before we're completely done with it. And I'll probably do one more just for some thoughts and comments and talk about what I thought about the campaign, even though uh, you guys probably already have a good idea of what I think about it. Anyway... So yeah, uh, let's get back into it. So last time, we captured uh, some more territory from these guys. Uh, they basically set this huge blob after us. Uh, this force right here attacked it, took out two aircraft. Now they're going to be retreating to the north here as this force comes down from the south and takes care of business. I'm not entirely sure why the hell there's something in this force that says it's only going three meters a second. Anyway, I will uh, bring you guys back uh, when I have the next battle land. Uh, so, see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so we basically are going to be trying to take on this pole fort to the south, it looks like. I managed to get uh, both my tank fleets. to spawn in. I'm pretty sure we're getting enough firepower to do this, so let's go ahead and get started. Now just by sheer weight and numbers, I think we'll crush them. Whoa, a huge lag there. Okay, I was kind of worried about that for a second. I forgot they had those little nuke drone things. Uh, crazy Train. Good job, Crazy Train. Nope, oh, did we just... Yep, there goes another nuke. God, there's just so much going on right now. Ooh, that guy's gonna bite it. But that's probably the worst possible place to hit. It was on a cannon, but... Uh, that one will hurt more, though. Yeah, he's gone. Guess they are starting to run out of gas, yep. Hey, there goes Crazy Train. Wham! Alright. Well, that went pretty well, all things considered. Alright, so I'll bring you guys back in once I have something to show you. Okay, so we got another attack lined up. Um, probably not going to hit well for them because this is some very, very rough terrain that they're going to have to get through. And we'll just be waiting for him on the side of it. Okay, whatever. The strategic AI is behaving very strategically. Oof. Um... 
I don't know if this is even going to work. I mean, Crazy Train might get in here. Or not. Seems like it's, uh... <laughs> Alright then. That is iron well right there, ladies and gentlemen. Had I known it was going to be this rough, I probably would have spawned in the missile artillery just a little bit closer. But I'm worried now that uh, I might not be able to... Yeah, I might have to restart this battle because there's just no good way to get through this terrain. This is shit at best. But, I can do this real quick. Hello. Oh, it's AI dead. Okay. So, we'll just grab you. Can I just despawn you? There we go. Call it cheese, I call it taking advantage of a tactical situation. Um, don't quite know what happened with him, but I'm glad it did. Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on here. Maybe they just were hitting 80 below and sinking. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure if this... Oh, one of them hit. Yeah, I know this, it was this rough. I would have waited till they got through this area, but it seems like it still worked out to our advantage. Now we even captured one of them. Just we captured that one as well. Not like we needed to, but just to try to get this going along a little quicker. All right, I'll be back when I got something else to show you. Okay, so we just had a chaos and a ravager come up from the south. I'm more worried about the chaos more than anything because that thing's got a real nasty set of uh, battering rams on some spin blocks here. It'll mess you up. But uh, we got a Pretty good block advantage over him, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and kick this off. And Crazy Train's already off and running. I'm doing us proud, Crazy Train. Of course, y'all know it'd be hilarious to happen right now. But it's not going to happen. I was hoping that the chaos is going to hit that tank there, but it missed completely. Uh, but that chaos is going to eat some big missiles. It doesn't really have much of a defense against that. Yeah. Honestly, if you got enough heavy missiles, to, or uh, larger missiles, it doesn't seem like you got a whole hell of a lot to worry about in this campaign. Some might even call it unbalanced.
Yeah, it was barely even a battle. I don't think I really seen to any damage with Crazy Train. Okay. Uh, also, I should mention that over here in this direction, it seems that there is another resource base over here that we need to take out. So I'm going to use this for us to take it out. I don't know why I keep having stuff spawning in only going at 3 meters a second, but whatever. So I'm still trying to... See if I can't close in on this. Uh, let's see here. I'll see if I can't remove some of the slower units from that just so we can get it moving faster. So, yeah, I'll be right back when I got something for you guys. Alright, so we finally managed to get this force from the uh, west to come in and knock out this last, or second to last resource zone. The last one they're sitting on top of over here, but. Yeah, I've been wanting to knock this guy out, so let's go ahead and begin the battle. And there goes Crazy Train. Honestly, let's just target this thing and focus it down. Yeah. Whoa, what happened to you, Crazy Train? Oh, big pack barrage there. Get him, Crazy Train, get him! Yeah, I could sort of put some missile countermeasures on these things. As long as those packs are working. There we go, no, that's dead. And again, the turrets just sit there and do jack shit. Yeah, what the hell, let's go ahead and knock this guy out, too. He's right there. Or right here. I gotta say, the war pig's done a lot better than I thought.
Yeah, that's kind of nasty. And here come the PAC of her tanks. bring you guys back when uh, we got another battle lined up. Alright guys, I think I have lined up what will most likely be the last battle of the campaign. Uh, they got a big block count on us, but uh, just like last time, I think most of it's just going to be for a bunch of civilian buildings that are just going to sit there and essentially do nothing. So... Let's see, what tank do we want to ride in on? Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to bring in the new bomber, but um, while this battle is going, I do want to say that uh, I do plan on doing another campaign here soon. Uh, I am thinking of doing the uh, Oil and Pirates, I believe. It's the Onyx Watch campaign. I've got some forces lined up for that. I've been wanting to uh, test my new uh, campaign ships. See how well they'll do in campaign conditions. Probably get a feel for what the larger campaign might be like. I figure for now I'm going to give this campaign the benefit of a doubt. And uh, blame it on the fact that it's a land campaign and not the regular one. So, yeah, I'll try doing it the uh, Swatch campaign and we'll see if it goes any better than this. So, I'll be completely honest with you guys, I'm not too optimistic about that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this guy is. Oh, it's a missile tank. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to do a whole hell of a lot of good there. Let's pause it so we can see what crazy train's about to smack itself into. Eh, looks like this building over here, which I'm perfectly fine with that. Well, this thing is... It kind of reminds me of uh, some stuff that I've seen at Warhammer 40k. The thing is definitely going to hurt if it gets you. But it's too slow to... It's going to get killed probably way before it gets to the point where there's going to be any real danger to us, I think. That these ginormous missiles are going to put a huge dent in it, I'm sure, yeah. Still, it does remind me of you know, some of some fortification I've seen. I think there was like some large ass command tank that had a huge mortar on the front of it. I mean, it doesn't have the huge mortar, but it kind of looks like that. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Well, it looks like we launched those missiles just a little bit too far out, but that's fine. They do have a lot of fucking turrets on this thing. Damn. Look like the turrets from, uh, what's it called? Like the upper level of an Imperial or Emperor class Titan? Yeah. Again, more Emperor 40k. Oh, yeah, uh, crazy train to hit that huge pyramid structure over there. Now 
Yeah, we popped that turret, I think. Nope, damn near, though. And here comes some more Dekka. And even more Dekka. And still ever more Dekka. This would be like an aphrodisiac for sentient funguses, wouldn't it? And here's some more huge missiles. Or, I'm sorry, large missiles. Ooh, look at that firepower. see what its health at. Can't be doing too high. Uh, 61%, still a little ways to go. Move that turret. That looks like it's despawning. Yep. All right. Hmm. And almost thirty hours underneath a part time. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that was Ash's Empire from the Depths. I know we ran a little over on this, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Dammaduck82. Have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later. <laughs>